Question 3. The curve C has equation 2x squared y plus 2x plus 4y minus cos pi y equals 17. Part A says use implicit differentiation to find dy dx in terms of x and y. Before we start answering the question, I just want to go over something quickly. For example, if we're differentiating 2x, we know that this will differentiate to give 2. If we have 2y, and y is actually a function in terms of x, then to use the for implicit differentiation, we still differentiate as we did here with the x to get a 2, but we have to add on a dy dx. So differentiating each of these terms one by one, the first term we have to use the product rule, where we let 2x squared equal to u and the y equal to v. So u equals 2x squared and v equals y. Differentiating the u, du dx gives us 4x, dv dy, so we have to use implicit differentiation here. We differentiate it normally to get the 1, but then we add a dy dx. Remembering the product rule, we know that the derivative of u times v will be v du dx plus u dv dx. Therefore, the derivative using these terms will be v times du dx, so y times 4x, plus u times dv dx, so 2x squared times dy dx. So dy dx equals the derivative of the first term, which is 4xy plus 2x squared dy dx, the derivative of 2x, which is 2, the derivative of 4y, which is 4, but we need to remember to add dy dx. The derivative of cos gives us minus sign. So the derivative of minus cos will give us plus sign. But we need to remember to multiply by the derivative of pi y. The derivative of pi y is just pi. So it's pi sine pi y. We need to remember to times y dy dx. The derivative of 17, or the derivative of any constant, we know is 0. We can see that there are three terms which have dy dx, so we can factor out the dy dx. And in the bracket we will have 2x squared plus 4 plus pi sine pi y plus 4xy plus 2 equals 0. We move these two to the other side by subtracting them, and then to get dy dx on its own we will divide by this bracket. So dy dx equals minus 4xy minus 2 over 2x squared plus 4 plus pi sine pi y. The point P with coordinates 3, a half lies on C. The normal to C at P meets the x-axis at the point A. Part B says find the x-coordinate of A, giving your answer in the form A pi plus B over C pi plus D, where A, B, C and D are integers to be determined. To find the normal, we first need to find the gradient of the tangent, and we can do this by subbing in the coordinates into our dy dx. So at the point three and a half, dy dx equals minus four times three times a half minus two over two times three squared plus four plus pi times sine of pi times a half. Minus four times three times a half is minus six. 3 squared is 9 times 2 is 18 plus 4 pi times a half is a half pi or pi over 2 sin of pi over 2 is 1 so pi times 1 gives us pi simplifying this gives minus 8 over 22 plus pi so the gradient of the tangent equals minus 8 over 22 plus pi the tangent and normal are perpendicular, therefore the gradient of the normal will be the negative reciprocal of this, which is 22 plus pi over 8. The normal and tangent are both straight lines, so the form of their equation will be We know the gradient is 22 plus pi over 8. To find the value of c, we sub in the x and y coordinates of this, of the point p. 
we can multiply this to get 66 plus 3 pi over 8 and to find c we can move this to the other side a half we can write as 4 over 8 so they have a common denominator and we can now group them together to get 4 minus think of this as being in brackets so a lot of people make a mistake with the sign once you put the brackets in it's going to be minus 66 and minus 3 pi finally c is minus 62 plus 3 pi over 8 therefore y equals 22 plus pi over 8 x minus 62 plus 3 pi over 8 the normal meets the x-axis at the point a so to find the x-intercept of the normal or the x-intercept of any curve we will set y equal to 0 and solve so we are solving this equation moving this term to the other side makes it positive multiplying both sides by 8 cancels these out so we will have finally to find the x value we divide by pi plus 22 so x equals 3 pi plus 62 over pi plus 22 comparing this with a pi plus b over c pi plus d we can see that a equals 3 b equals 62 and c equals 1 and d equals 22.